What's going on world? Brand new episode of Open the Box there on your screen. I'm in Caldwell, New Jersey at Top Shelf Kicks with my man Aaron. What's going on, man? Yo, what's up? Now I'm super excited about this episode because it's a breath of fresh air. It's some awesome vintage stuff here. Aaron, I'm putting you on the spot off top. I need to know the top five vintage pieces. Off top, um, over here I have some 85 Jordan 1s. We have two pairs in store, obviously. With the one craze, they're a lot harder to find. We also have a size 12 in the case, yeah. better condition than those. So this jersey right here is pretty dope. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not the biggest Kobe fan. I grew up a Nets fan. We have a Kobe Nike Authentic, size 44. Real rare jersey to come across. A lot of people nowadays are wearing the fake jerseys you get on Instagram. Now Aaron, is this for sale? Uh, this is for sale. Okay, because Kobe is my favorite player ever, so I may have to yeah, take hey, this man. one off of you. We can go into some other jerseys. I do enjoy the nostalgia, as you can tell. We have two authentic Michael Jordan sand knits. I believe sand knit came out in like the late 80s, early mm -hmm. 80s. We buy, sell, trade over here. So obviously a lot of stuff comes in, goes out, gets traded for, etc. So we get a lot of cool nostalgic items in the store. Well, this is another sand knit, Dr. J jersey. I went to UMass, so obviously I'm a big Dr. J fan. Another one, Damon Stoudemire, authentic Ooh. champion. And with you being in New Jersey, I mean, you have classic New Jerseys with Keith Van Horn. I do have a few. I'm going to be honest. I usually tuck a lot of the ones that I find. My Nets jersey collection is pretty extensive. Growing up, one of the things I always wanted was an N64. My grandparents got it for me and my brother. And they had a lot of good games. This is one of them, NBA Showtime. I've had PS4 in here before. I've had those systems, but this is just something you don't see every day. Kids yeah. come in here again and it's like, I have to teach these kids how to hold this controller. They like hold it like this or like they don't even know what to do with it. You know what I mean? Right. What made you go with just this whole vintage mm -hmm. memorabilia thing? Growing up, me, my brother, my dad, we used to go to flea markets a lot. Mm -hmm. I was into sports. I was into video games. I was into cool stuff. So anytime I can collect that stuff, I would. So as you can see, I have a lot of the old video games that I was into growing up. Yeah. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Cruising USA, Pat Riley, Genesis Basketball. <laughs> this is a funny one, NBA Live 97 with Mitch Richmond on the cover. NBA Hang Time, WrestleMania, the arcade game. And one mixtapes, man. So I wanted something that I was not necessarily a pro at, but I enjoyed sports, sneakers, Definitely. vintage clothing, toys. And that's where I was going next. Like your, your toy collection is yeah. absurd, man. I'm gonna take you back to the first toy you ever collected. Do you know what that was? I had a Michael Jordan basketball that's down in that case. Yeah. It's basically this ball right here, but the bigger version. I just remember wanting to play with it, but not really wanting to play with it that much. I had to collect it, I had to keep it. I could also remember this toy, as well as this bank. This mm -hmm. was a really cool piece. I started collecting stuff like this. This toy as well I got, and this is the original one I had. It's not the one that I went on eBay and I just purchased. I yeah. probably have one of those in the back. But this <laughs> one, it was my original one. I lost the ball. Hopefully it talks, let's see. I really enjoy playing with you guys. <laughs> let's play some basketball. Let's play some basketball. All right, so it still talks. How well do you know your basketball players? Because I'm seeing some stuff that the young cast, you guys that are watching this right now, you won't know half these players. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of guys up here that a lot of people wouldn't know. One of my favorite parts about having this store is the younger crowd comes in and I'll show them something like this. Yeah. Whose shoe was this? And <laughs> half of them will have no idea what they're looking at. Yeah. You were the man if you had the T-Mac one. But now I have them on display just so I could show the kids, try to teach them a little history lesson that it's not all about Drake and Kanye. There's some dope older basketball players who really started this game and yeah. started the sneaker culture. I also have some pieces back here. I have this Vince Carter McFarlane figure. So what's cool about this is it's in a Manu Ginobili box, but it's Vince <laughs> Carter on the Nets. I guess this is rare, yeah. but I just think it looks pretty cool as an old Nets fan. Speaking of the Nets, that's where I want to go next. You're born and raised Nets fan, right? Mm -hmm. Over the years, it went from New Jersey, Brooklyn. What do you think about that move? And what do you think about just, just being a Nets fan in general? I mean, it's sad, I, I can't lie to you. They're not the same Nets to me. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. I used to go to games, go to the Meadowlands, go to the IZOD Center, drive, I could get a ride, I could take a bus. I can't really go to Brooklyn like that. You know, I grew up a New Jersey Nets fan. Right. So when they went to Brooklyn, it was hard for me to follow one of the reasons it's hard for me to follow because i'm a huge lebron james fan mm -hmm. um i think he's the best in the world 
regardless of rings. I don't want to go down that route right now because I know I'll get flamed in the comments for whatever I say, but you know, I, I love good basketball. So yeah. I do follow that guy, but it's sad for people who grow up in New Jersey because we have nothing. You being a, a big Nets fan from, from childhood, it bleeds through to the logo. We do a couple different logos. We did this one. Um, this is a championship logo. Uh, we were representing this one, but I'm gonna be honest with you. We had someone mimic our account and try to scam people with this logo as their avatar. Um, they put an underscore after our name and a lot of people were getting scammed by this person. So that kind of led me to, I need to switch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. obviously I do, did a lot of logos. We're gonna put a lot of different t-shirts out with different logos, but one of the logos I really liked, obviously growing up was the Nets. Now I definitely want to get into the shoes. Uh, we we'll spent some time on, on the figurines and other stuff and we'll get back to it. But um, what, what is the inventory like here? If someone was coming here for the first time, what are they looking to get into? The inventory ranges, it's a buy sell trade. Mm -hmm. So we have anything from the brand new dead stock royal ones, bread ones, off whites, stuff like that. But we also have some beaters, we have some cheaper stuff, some cheap Air Maxes, some stuff basically that a lot of stores wouldn't take. Right now we have obviously most of the better stuff on display, but we take in pretty much everything if the price is right. I tell people all the time, they come in here and they say, will you buy this? Will you buy that? Will you buy this? I'll buy anything, everything and anything if the price is right, mm -hmm. because I know what I could sell and what I can't sell. So you really never know what you'll see in here. I try to keep it as clean as possible, but sometimes it's like a tornado hit it <laughs> and it's like, you better come now and grab what's on the floor and see how much it is. Cause it might be a, a steal, a lot mm -hmm. of steals. That's for sure. Me being one of them growing up, didn't have the money to get those $250 Jordans. You know, right, I had right, to get right. those $50 New Balances. I had to get those $50 Iversons. Mm -hmm. So I try to get a pre-owned Jordan in here. That's like around a hundred bucks, 80 right. bucks that someone's going to grab and say, wow, like, Right. I'm still breaking necks Definitely. and I saved money. Now I want to actually go through a couple of the shoes that you have in here that okay. are, that you usually don't see yeah. in other stores. I'm going to start you off that LeBron 2 over there. Yeah. Uh, I usually don't see that at all. So this is a uh, dead stock LeBron 2. This was actually one of my pairs I got a while back and I never got to wearing it because it's such mm -hmm. a beautiful sneaker. Mm -hmm. um, the quality on this shoe is bananas, right, the right. inside's bananas. Definitely something you don't see very often. It is really good that they brought back the Zoom generation, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome sneaker. Yeah. Another sneaker that I always wanted and I couldn't get. I think that's the premise of my whole sneaker obsession. Yeah. When you want something and you can't get it, yeah. when you get older and you make some money, you say, I gotta go get it. Right. And uh, this is one of the shoes that I went and got. You see these BBBs over here? Big baller brand. I'm not gonna talk much about what I agree with and what I don't agree with what the family is doing, but it's really cool that these came into the store. I'm not gonna say how they did, mm -hmm. but this is a pretty awesome piece to have. You can go ahead and say Lonzo came by here and dropped them off. <laughs> I wish he did, Lonzo, if you wanna pull up, sign it one day, it's, it's not for sale, yeah. just because I don't think I'll ever come across a pair again. It's something you don't see often. I don't even think Flight Club or any places like that have it. These actually have somewhat sentimental value to me. Foot Locker, East Bay, all those places used to drop sneakers at 12 a.m. at midnight. It wasn't 8 a.m., it was 12 a.m. So these came out with the Big Bang LeBrons, the Kobe's. I had this strategy, mm -hmm. right? I'd call up early at like 11.50, 11.52, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I would just stall and stall. And I put my dad onto this scheme and I had a big stats exam. Somehow my dad got through. So I've just held on to him because this sneaker is just amazing. Yeah. Um, the quality of this sneaker, what it is, is just incredible. One of the reasons it was a great shoe because it was what, $95? Yeah. Well, Aaron, man, I appreciate you letting us come by and check out everything. What we're gonna do, for those who can't see everything, I'm gonna actually go around this place and just show you some of the awesome stuff that I've seen here. But Aaron, where can they find Top Shelf Kicks? Top Shelf Kicks, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Top Shelf Kicks. We're also on Instagram, at Top Shelf Thrift. That's where you'll find a lot of our jerseys and stuff like that. www.topshelfkicks.com, that's our website. We're revamping it, trying to put some clothing on it as well as sneakers. So that'll be back up and running soon. And you can find us here at 27 Roseland Avenue, Caldwell, New Jersey. We're open Tuesday through Saturday. You can always DM us. We answer DMs, emails, etc. So hit us up, man. Come by, buy, sell, trade.
So growing up, I used to go to these sneaker stores with my friends. I didn't have the money to buy these sneakers, but it was always great to go look at the shoes and see what they had for sale. Basically drool, window shop, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You want something, you obviously want to go look at it. A lot of these sneaker stores, they just don't treat you right, I feel like. They don't talk to you, they don't treat you like a human, they just want your money. Uh, they sit behind a desk, they don't interact. There's no price tags on basically everything in this store. There's a reason for that because A, the market changes every single day. But B, I talk to every single person that comes into this store. Why? Because that's how I wanted to be treated growing up. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? People tell me all the time when they come in, they say, I'm sorry, man, I'm not buying anything today. There's no reason to be sorry. Come, mm -hmm. come see what I built. Yeah. This is yeah. here for people to come see. You don't yeah. have to come and spend money. Come say, yo, I had Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yo, wow, the Space Jam, I had that. I had the T-Max growing up. It happens all the time. I mean, I have 45 year old people come in here and be like, wow, like I had that Sega game. Brings you back, it's, it's a memory lane, nostalgia. Treat people right, treat people how you'd wanna be treated and you should go far, you know yeah. what I mean?